Georgia. We'll see how these two teams play in this game as they prepare for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. The Gators have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week in, as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Draw play. And they make the stop at about the 27-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Third down. from their own 27-yard line. It's third down. He throws it. And that one's fallen incomplete. This is a very well-coached defense. They know to get their hands up in the air and to try to knock down passes. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Mike 12. Mike 12. Ready. He has some room. Makes it to the 41. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. From their own 41-yard line. First down. They go with a pitch to the right. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. They tossed it to the running back, and he took it about eight yards. That makes it second and two. Hey, guys, try left, try left. Four down, four down. Mike 12, Mike 12. Here we go. Makes the grab and out of bounds. Four-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. It took some composure on the quarterback's part here to stand in there and make the throw with the blitz coming in. Well done. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. After review the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. I think the play call was the right one by the offense. I just think the defense made a better play. They seem to want it more here on this big third down. Offense comes up a little bit short to set up a fourth down, but give all the credit to the personnel on the defensive side of the ball. Pulls it in and gets out of bounds. From the 46-yard line, it's first down. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. They lose three yards there. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it second and 14. Catches it, and he's looking for more. He's at the 30. Brought down at the 21. Really difficult to cover somebody this fast. You can't stay with him in one-on-one -on -one coverage. And even when you double-team him, he still has the speed to beat you. You just have to hope that the timing is off between him and his quarterback. And this play is number eight on the drive. They'll run it. They go to the left for a nice game. From the 16-yard line, second down. Let's go. 
slings it. And down he goes, right around the 10 yard line. Gain of six on the pass, and that's good for a first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. And they get nice yardage on that run. This is the 11th play of this drive. Mike 12. Mike 12. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up. Ready. Three, two, one. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. converts the extra point. A 10-play, 70-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. George has really got things working right now for him. I can't think of a better start. Well, that's exactly the way they had hoped to see this game go. I mean, anytime you can start the game with a stop, get your offense out there, they move the ball down, put points on the board. Now it's just more about trying to maintain what they've already created. Run play, and he'll lose yards. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 24. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle around the 42-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 42. By 52, by 52. Ready! Red 18! Oh. Tackle made right around the 42-yard line. That's a game 16 on the way. First down. Out of bounds around the 32 yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Let's go! Green 90. Green. Here's an opening. Nice run to the left there. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Carries the ball for a nice game. That brings him second and five. From the 24 yard line, it's second down. That was a nice grab there. You know, it may be simple, but whenever you can gain solid yardage, you're doing something right. That'll make it 31. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. The Bulldogs with a touchdown lead. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. Nice run there. 
Brad, I think they're showing a lot of confidence in this running back. Here's third down and medium. In some cases, you might be thinking that the offense would want to pass, but instead they give it to their back, and he shows that they're not wrong in being able to pick up that first down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. A 10 play, 74 yard drive. And the result, seven points. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for a defense. We get a tie game at 7 7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Quick out to his receiver. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. yards away here on second down. And he's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Pushed out of bounds around the 44-yard line. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. First and 10, ball on the 44. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. They come up to the line here. It's second down and 14 after the sack. You can't block me. You can't block me. Mike 55. Mike 55. E -E -E -E. It's the tailback. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. the grab. 
That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. And this one is a beauty. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Gets it on the pitch, and they got him for a loss. Georgia just took their first time out. Two minutes to go in the half. The defense needs to be careful. The safety might have made that play, but if he keeps coming up on the run, he'll be spaced downfield for the pass. Tailback brought down for a loss. study starts to come around, you're gonna kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're gonna get embarrassed on Monday. You know? He puts it away and it's a great kick. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. You always wanna go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. The defense scoops it up. Anytime a running back loses the football, it puts a little bit more caution in his step. You'll see them covering the ball with two hands, and it sometimes can slow him down. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. He's tackled at the 42. That was a nicely thrown ball with some arc on it. He's a very precise passer, and he makes it look easier than it is. They come out in a five wide set. And he snags that one. He's taken down at the 47. Got a man in and out of his hands. It's third and five. Ball on the 47. It's a great tackle at the 36-yard line. Goes complete and he's hit right away. to his tight end, nothing doing. Third down, and they're gonna need about three yards to pick up the first down. Halfback's got him on the quick throw, and he tackles him hard at the six. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six. Goes 
with a touchdown, and it's going to be an interception. And that was just an outstanding pick. Great play by the defender to high point the ball, but the quarterback wasn't in rhythm on the throw. He's out to the 30. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. And he can't get away from the pressure. We've played a half of football. We're even at seven in this one. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a soccer player, please. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way if Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. Brought down around the 33-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's hit and taken down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Down he goes at the 39. Slings it. A yard, if even that, on the play action pass. It's a nice play by the defense to shut down all the lanes, so this halfback wasn't able to make anything happen on that play. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Gets to about the 37-yard line. Him again 
incomplete, and he's hit immediately. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Him hard at the 35. That's a deal. That'll bring up third and eight. And this play is number eight on the drive. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Easy, easy, easy. Big dog. Strike to his receiver. No good. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for a very long field goal attempt. Georgia could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he nails the long field goal. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And they can forget about returning this one. George is continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on their own 29. Three down, three down. Mark 55, Mark 55. Set, red 18. Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made around the 30-yard line. He scrambled and maybe picked up a yard there. And that was the junior corner who will get credit with that tackle. He's going to try and scramble. Tackle at the 35-yard line. That's not going to move the sticks. Well, this defense played some sound football out there and did a good job of not letting them get into any kind of rhythm. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. So he managed to get a few yards on the run back. Yeah, but I'll tell you, Brad, with so much traffic in the middle there, it really makes it tough to break free. Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. Georgia is up by three. He gets rid of this one. From their own 30-yard line, second down. He's to the 40. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 42-yard line. Once and all, going deep. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. This guy's got to just feel awful dropping an easy interception in the end zone. The best thing that he could do now is go to his teammates and hope that they're able to get him back up and get ready to play that next play. Ready! Motion, motion, check, check! Patriot! Patriot! Motion, motion, motion. And he's taken down right around the 48-yard line. You know what? After a play like that, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if they went to the air again. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Five wide. Let's go! 
Touchdown saving tackle, but it leaves him with a first and goal. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. So they're back in the red zone where they threw a pick on their last visit. Pitch play here. Touchdown, Georgia! This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. And he is drilled at the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Ready! Green 90! Green 90! That's three down and one to go. The Bulldogs with a 10-point lead. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Makes it to the 41. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 43. He's under some heat, and he's going to be sacked. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. It seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down, when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Takes the ball inside. So the halfback loses about two on the run. From their own 18-yard line, second down. Less than three minutes in the game. Here we go. Red 18. He'll 
he'll get it again. Nice run there. five-yard line. First down. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. The Gators call a timeout. That's their second of the half. Makes it out to about the 46. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Under a minute left in the game. The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Red 85. Red 85. And the ball game's over, and our final score of this one, 17-7, Georgia. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Georgia comes away with bragging rights this year, and I'm sure the fans and students will enjoy it just as much as the players. They were the better team today and added another great chapter to this rivalry. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.